Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Azzy Graphics. In this video, I'll be teaching you how I created this animation using CapCut. If you just joined me for the first time, kindly hit that subscribe button, put on the post notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post new video here on YouTube. Alright, let's just go straight to the tutorial. The first thing I'll be doing is I'll just create a new project. So I'll come to photos here. So this is what I want to use for my background. Now the reason I'm using this is because the video I want to use is not is not square. So I'll just click on this and I'll delete it. I want to create something Instagram size and the video is kind of adjustable. So I'll just put it around this edge. So it's about 10 seconds plus. So I can still make use of that. So I'll just come here and um, click on overlay, add overlay. So I'll just go and bring in one, one of my video. Okay, so I have the video here. I'll just stretch it out. So I will kind of leave it like this. So I'll just there. I'll take it to that place. I'll just, just delete it. So I don't need. I think it's kind of too short. So you'll notice. Yeah, so you just draw your hand. Yep. So I think we'll just have to use your just your two fingers to scale this. So I'll just give it about two or three seconds. Let the lady be doing a magic. <laughs> I said magic. So I'll bring in a new valley. No, not an overlay. Yes. I'll come to effects. I come to video effects then yeah I'm searching for blow you can just search for blow here blow but I know where the blow is anyway so I just need blow so I'll just make use of this one then I've clicked on it I'll just click so you can see main video blow so you can just stretch it to the end of the video all right so where the blow has come into place so it came in around here so i don't actually don't want the blow first i don't want the blow first so that's what i'll be using i'll be putting it somewhere around here so i'll click on overlay add overlay and bring in come to photos and bring in my stage just add this to the picture so I'll use my two finger to stretch it and I'll bring it somewhere around here then I will just and I'll stretch this here all right so it's beautiful so when I play my video okay so um you know what I'll just be to come here click on effect come to my blow click on adjust the blow I can just increase the strength to about 70 75 okay I'll just leave it there take it down there all right so however just just let's leave that one it will still reflect when we are done with our design we we'll reflect when we're done with our design so we have this here so the next thing I'll be bringing in is one of my products I'll come I'll click on click on it here I'll just make sure I'm positioning the product somewhere around here and I'll add overlay also I'll bring in this cream product I'll bring this first I'll just scale this down or better still let me let me let me bring this later let me just bring in I'll be just using some of the Nivea product I have so since okay let me use this one okay so i'll just scale this down so instead of just coming here to um crop crop and rotate so i'll just come to edit rotate yep i'll just flip it like this now position it somewhere around here so i'll just drag it so i'll hard overlay then I have 
a shadow effect which I want to make use of. So it's somewhere around there. I'll just bring it in so you can see the shadow effect. Then I'll, I'll kind of scale it and I'll put it right under the same product. Now I mistakenly press on keyframe, so I'll stretch it to, to that particular side. So the next thing I'll be doing is this particular one, I'll come to layers and I'll just move it to the third one and I'll just click on OK. If you notice, it is now this one is kind of in front of it now. Okay, now for this one, I'm going to bring in like I'll bring in an animation. In animation, so we're not taking them out. So to just objects. in animation. So I want something that just slides this from the left to click on blow, click on blow, click on the object. So I want this one. Slide yeah, I want the, the left blow to work on this. So you just so that's come there and yeah, come to and make it on too much. Then it's too so much. Just, it's too okay, much. so I'll click on the shadow to animation. Okay, so the two are entering together. So the next thing is, I think this is very cool. So after this one has so entered, so you just come here and then I'll add in another overlay. I haven't done that, begin. so I can just this gladly come here, here just position this one set somewhere. my and okay. I've already done the this settings anyway. So, so you see my settings, these are the settings I used 180p 50 and just so you know the next spot. thing it's gonna take a while you'll be doing is yeah, also hard like a shadow spotting so you just animation so this one i want to bring this one to you in case you don't like how the blow is you can just adjust it all right so that's all for this video see you in the next one so it's sliding from from the right so make it one percent one seconds rather so the next thing i'll be doing okay i also want to stretch this okay i'll come here and i'll click on this and i'll add this okay so i will stretch this So you also want to use the same animation for slide left. Also one seconds. So man, I'm still I'm seeing this thing floating on here. Okay, it's, it's now somewhere around here. Okay, um, layer. So move it to this side, the fifth one. Then we can just bring it. Okay, so we can leave it like that. So we add just one more product. We add just one more valley. Then we add um, this product. So we just add this one. Then you scale this here. And just move this here. Okay, so. We just click on overlay and we also add that same product using that same. We just add it here and just add. Okay, so
who had it some more we have to scale this one down okay so after you've added it down just kill it only we added animation to this one so this one will be using slide right okay also one second animation slide right one second okay so now this one the come to layers then keep it on the seventh layer just take it back all right i think i like the position like this so once we just play what we have so so that's perfect so the next thing is we've not added layer and animation to this so this one animation is going to be something that just brings it up yeah slide up so just one second okay so we have this so the last product was this one so I'll also be adding another overlay which contains the brand logo of Nivea. So I'll bring this one in and just scale it down. And I'll just position this one somewhere around here. Okay, so we'll try and scale this to the end of you see animation and we'll see slide. slide left also one second i just like that slow thank you so i will bring in another another overlay and i'll bring in the screen the name of the brand cream soft cream so can the name of the product you can bring in use a different color i think a different color would work Now, so these are okay. So I will keep this transcale this here so i think um for this one i'll just use i'll bring in a different a a okay let me just use animation let me use in zoom in zoom let's make it one second so another overlay ingredient so i'll just add this now i think i was actually after i did this i was like shouldn't have added ingredients so i think let me just um change this ingredient this is not the one i want to make use of or uh, use like one with a different color yeah so i'll just kill this So I'll scale this soft cream it's too big. Okay, so uh, this also should be animation. Should also be zooming.
Okay, so let's play what we have. So I think it's it's okay like that. So this. So I'm thinking I'm thinking of adding a song. So I don't have. Add overlay. So um, not overlay instead. I'll just come to sound audio. Now you just need to be careful because most of these sounds have. So I'll just have a song. I'll just come to sound. So I have a song that I've already extracted from one of my videos. So I will come to this particular side, extract the, extract sound from a particular video. So this is the one I want to extract. So I'll just import only sound. So you just it's going to load. So this is the sound now. You can see zero. So I'll just click on add. So it's going to it sounds about ten seconds. So because of this video is so it's about ten seconds. So when I just play. So let's. I'm not seeing the strength of my 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 blow because I actually added actually added blow to it. So I'll just come to effects. I'll come to I'll come yeah, so I'll click on effects. So I'll blow, come to objects. So I want this this object. Click on blow. Click on blow. Click on the object. So I want this one. Yeah, I want the blow to work on this so you just come there and come to adjust it's too much don't see it's too much it's too much so, I think this is So you just come here and I haven't done that so I can just gladly come here set my okay I've already done the settings anyway so you see my settings these are the settings I used 180p 50 and just gladly export so it's gonna take a while then your video will be done exporting In case you don't like how the blow is, you can just adjust it. Alright, so that's all for this video. See you in the next one.